Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry tutorial to share with you today. We are working through this book called Drawing Circle Images and we have worked through all the fold symmetries up to 12 fold symmetry. Today I want to share with you how to achieve 12 fold symmetry. So I'm going to be using my Fabriano watercolor paper. This is 90 pound hot press watercolor paper. It has a nice smooth finish. I'm going to eyeball the center of the page and mark it. And then I'm going to set my radius to five centimeters. I'm going to begin by drawing a circle in the center of the page. And then I'm going to choose any point on the circle, set my compass and draw another circle. And you're going to see that it intersects the circle in two places. So I'm going to set my compass again on each of those places and that way I can get six fold symmetry. Next I'm going to take my ruler and place it where the two outer circles intersect and I'm going to mark the circle so that it ends up being halfway between the two circles. I know this is confusing but once you actually achieve six fold symmetry you'll be able to clearly see where your next six points are going to go and then once again you want to set your compass at each of those points on the original circle and then create six more circles and that way you will perfectly achieve 12 fold symmetry. Now you can actually set your compass to any radius that you'd like. I just found that this was enough that it stayed within my nine inch by 12 inch paper. Once we have our 12 fold symmetry, it's time to erase. Now you don't have to erase your original circle, but I chose to. And then we're going to watercolor them using distress inks. These are ink pads that I'm going to squish down onto a non-porous surface and I'm going to use them as watercolor paints. I'm going to put this aside. I need some water and a paintbrush and then the fun begins. We're going to watercolor this image. What I really like about these fold symmetry designs is that they look different every time you watercolor them in depending on how you watercolor them and which segments you leave filled and which ones you erase. And so I really love experimenting with these designs because each time it's unique, stunning and beautiful. In this case, I decided to go with some soft pinks and yellows and reds. I decided to fill the entire thing in. But sometimes I think it's more beautiful when you erase parts of the outline arcs and leave it blank. So if you'd like to see some of the other tutorials in this geometry series, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information as well as more tutorials. That link is down in the description box below. And if you want to see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.